Uh, it makes my fat consents look normal. I like hitting things with sticks. I like to wash my balls and smack them around. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, here's my last one. Um, so things are getting bigger, you know, like drinks and stuff. The other day I saw an advertisement for the new 48 gallon camel hump cup. It comes with its own bathroom. It's the only drink holder with a cup holder for your other drink. <laughs> Not only does it have free refills, it comes with a free shoulder strap so you can carry it around. It's so big, I need to set it down and take a break. Okay, that's, that's, um, that's all I got this week. <laughs> I'll put my pencil away there. So I can grab one of these pens. All right. So before I work as a comedian, I gotta take every free thing I get. <laughs> Another thing I, I gotta do this week, um, I gotta remember to hold the mic up to my face. Uh, it's just kind of weird because I'm not used to having something this shape this close to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid I'm gonna take a bite out of it. Let's not get dirty, you know. I'm dirty enough for all of us. Uh, you know, I, I I found out, um, you know, if I ever get brainwashed or, or I'm I, I missed that one. Huh? I'm so dirty that uh, I'm so dirty minded that if someone ever tries to brainwash me, I'm going to need a pre-treatment. <laughs> I feel stupid, uh, which means it's time to buy a thicker helmet. Um, so I I feel I feel bad for centipedes, you know, because no, they, they they probably go through foot powder by the drum. It's impossible to find matching socks. And uh, they probably they probably have a real bad time with rest of, restless leg. Okay, that one, uh, Bob. <laughs> um, someone told me I need to find my balance, but uh, the police took my balance. They said I was selling weed with it. <laughs> apparently, and um, I'm gonna walk down the political line here. So this is something new. Uh, apparently, a bunch of birds have. Uh, Try to get into politics because they want to join the cause. <laughs> Shout out to the dude who was doing wordplay earlier. <laughs> so uh, I hear that Mike Pence and uh, Joe Biden bumped elbows. They did the elbow bump, and um, because of their high quality health care coverage, they'll both be recovering with minimal opioid addiction. <laughs> Uh, you know I've been watching too much news when I wake up and I have a stiff middle finger. <laughs> I love doing comedy. It makes me feel like a million dollars before taxes. I think I got a pen. <laughs> um, let's see. The joke about pension. Oh, um, do I qualify for a teacher's pension if, uh, since I've been having to teach so many people a lesson? I think I need to change the word on that. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, worst thing about inflation is that I can't win at the prices right anymore. <laughs> so uh, I found a $50 bill, and uh, you know, it's not enough to retire, but 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Or like the IRS says, 50 bucks is 38.75. <laughs> and uh, Last one here. I, I started taking boxing lessons, and I think my uh, instructor is uh, into current events because he told me to flow like a butterfly and sting like a gas price. <laughs>
Well, that's interesting. We've been here. shoulder.
Okay. The Z38 facility. Think tank! I wouldn't even use binary to describe my exponential hatred for you! Yeah, that's the Saturnite plan. sleep there. What a bunch of berloni. then, but not before.
I think we're done with this for now. We're out of bullets. You know, I don't, I know 
all the DLCs tied into the Brotherhood of Steel crap. the other one. His father Elijah went to the Sierra Madre. But what's Ulysses' problem? It's his name. His name starts with the letter U. just growled. messages. You do not belong here. We will find you. Most assuredly belong here. This is my land. What are you doing on it? You do not belong here. What is with all these structures? They're now my property. green pipes. There is no standing on the green pipes. I'm 
load some hot metal. Require some additional services? Uh -huh. and rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. You require some additional services? Huh. And rightly so. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. If I can buy the things that I sell it. Think so. Didn't know I was hauling those around. They're six pounds each. to put sir's feet up, and I might serenade sir with the dulcet tones of a light opera.
rent, rent, rent. Two pounds. Three angry death claws make for a lot of reconstructive surgery. Crying out loud.
the volume was off. That was the problem. Me and my volumes is... How's it going? See me get that three for? That worked out pretty well. I don't remember anything about this except that that funny looking suit. It's either something we want or we don't want. It's it's kind of like this radiation suit that I have now. I'm either going to haul it around forever or I'm not. <coughs> See how I abstract my rage, Tank Tank? I hold you in such disdain, I generalize my hatred for you! Rant, rant, rant. That's my new catchphrase. Rant, rant, rant. Hashtag rant. Poison resistance, 85. But just being here gave me poison resistance. Doesn't make any sense. I guess maybe go like going over to the Casador area. Night vision. Now it just looks like Fallout 3. Yeah, and it weighs 20 pounds. That's completely worthless and might haul this thing around. Probably not. I think I have night vision chemicals and we never use them. DRO? A bit louder, okay. So, we have done basically half of the map. And we need to go talk to the people. I was just kind of doing some laundry before we go do that. 
So we'll go talk to him and then we'll do the other half. But I did want to kind of check out this empty zone. I kind of got sucked over here. Okay, there are empty ones out there. There are no empty arrow triangle things out here. Which means there's nothing out here. Needed the running start. I backed up for the running start and ran right into whatever was back there. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing here. Because those blips are showing up. Means this blip is showing up. So we're covered all the way around. Did I bug out? My chat monitor just quit. Why did my chat monitor quit? Your voice needs to be a bit louder on the mic, and then you'll be okay. Okay, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it is kind of quiet, isn't it? I think I need to get... Yep. Yep, it's the wires. Hmm. Look at that. It's this one.
Okay. That should be a little better. It's a dual-sided plug. Let me turn it up a little bit. Oh, yeah? Let's see, there's a 0.7 decibel increase. All right, that should help a little bit. So, Fallout 3, okay. After after Old World Blues, I should switch to Fallout 3, right? Because then I'll be behind you. So I won't spoil anything. But we can kind of play it together. Oh, that'd be cool. What do you think? Let's see if we're back to the game again. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yeah. That's about where we are. I can turn it up more. Let me know. But anyway, yeah, we're 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 clear. There's nothing out here. That's the X twelve. Saturday night. Saturday night. X twelve. Yep, okay. So, let's go talk to people, huh? Oh, now we can't hear the game. There's no sound effects. Applejacks. All right. Yeah, we got to restart it. Good jokes today. No, I didn't. I didn't have any good jokes today. No, I did not. Nope. Nope. They're one liners. You should invest in good running shoes if you plan to be in it for the long run. Uh, are you kidding me? Thousand Island dressing? At what point do you just call it archipelago dressing? If you slip on some ice, just wave your hands around in a fancy manner. It'll look like you're dancing. I mean, I kind of want it to look like I'm doing some kind of a fancy waltz, but really, if I'm going to learn how to dance so that I can learn how to look nice when I slip on the ice, I should probably learn how to pop and lock. It's, no, it's probably going to be more like a pop and lock. I want to wave my hands in a fancy way so it looks like I'm doing the waltz, but it's probably going to be more like a pop and lock. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Nope, nope, nope. Mm hmm. I think something in that ball of whatever might work its way into a set somewhere. I did an American thing, Albert. <clears throat> I did a very American thing. I had a pretty good workout. That wasn't the American thing. Although it is something to do. No. No, I had I had a good workout, right? And after the workout. I was a little famished. I was a little hungry. I wanted to eat something, so I did an American thing. And I ate a quarter. Yes, one quarter of a cheesecake. But to be fair, it was a berry cheesecake, and I put fresh raspberries on top of it. So I was getting my fruit. My, my vitamins. That's a very American thing to do, is just sit down and eat a, eat a quarter of a pie. No, 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 no. Because I like, okay, just to be fair, it's not like I was sitting there slicing myself out a whole quarter of a cheesecake. What I did is I had a slice and I went back for seconds, but the thing is, the first slice was a double slice, and then the second slice was like a slice and a half. And it, I don't know what the math is on that one, but it, it basically, there's a quarter of my cheesecake missing. And a quarter of my self-esteem missing. Okay. There's suits down there, shit. Appeared. I mean, I got them, but that's not the point. They were like zinc. Gino, 
Oh no, I died. Yeah, I was wondering if... Yes, my chat monitor messed up. I missed your guys. This is chat. This is... Live. Now. Do I have the chats? Welcome, Gino. How are you doing today? got a doggy gun too. what they say on them. I wonder why my chat monitor has been messing up lately. I mean, the whole reason I'm live isn't to play the game in front of people. It's to chat with you guys. It's my bro. No, no, no. No, no, no. All gravy. Gravy, man. And gravy's a good thing. I mean, it's like... It's like frosting for meat. You know? It's like, if, if you were gonna put meat... If you are gonna put frosting on meat, it would be gravy. And then, like, the the bacon bits would be the sprinkles. And then, uh, it, I mean, what would be the cherry? Well, I mean, I guess you could just use a cherry, but... So let's go talk to people and unload quantities of goodies.
Alright, let's talk to people. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. The quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. Mm, so you're fascinated with the human anatomy. What? Nonsense. What? What are you doing? Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? Enough. I am already intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It, it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. There's nothing wrong with looking at the human body. Unless somebody doesn't want you to look at some that's what's so weird though some people want you looking some people don't how do you know
Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives from Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. Oh? Oh, yes. I'm not going to bother correcting you. At least you got the doctor part correct. I can be grateful for that, Avoli. Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? I don't have an agenda with Robco. You have a problem with Rodko? Oh, really? You have their tech on your arm. How dare you bring Rodko tech in here? Okay. What are you showing off? Time to break Robert House and his big company are. Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses at Big Mountain can make, and they'll last a thousand years. Ugh. You're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. <laughs> Damn Robco. Uh... Let's see. Just wanted to ask some questions. Maybe I should do this. Yeah. I don't think I'll worry you by telling you what they've been up to since. Worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. <laughs> Fine. Ask. Yeah. I mean, that's what a robot would. Anyways. Yeah, I do. It wasn't always, oh. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. It's actually zero, isn't it? Great! Psychology! Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after colosto diuretics. Okay, so my name isn't O, never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Oh, sounds more impressive. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. Yeah, I put a slash through mine. That's 
scientific procedure. What? Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion, eventually. Oh, oh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. O is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. The make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derisses my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just, uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Uh... That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every. Time. Supposedly, he has even larger models. Even a giant robot scorpion hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah. Right. Giant monsters. Sure. Hmm. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Broke a couple boards with a down block. Took a couple tries. <laughs> Hurt my wrist. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? 
Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe, calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate Richie Marcus. As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies. Things of fiction. Here in the think tank, the only star is science. Um. So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One last test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyber engineering. tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater a big mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers. They are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. Indeed. Docile. Curious. Safe. Sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. What makes you think they haven't escaped, though? Because Big Mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. They're all over the Mojave. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. They breed. 
I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. That's too bad. Perhaps we can perform a sterility castration some other time then. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense from beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not. We never contradict ourselves. So do not even try. When did you make the Cazadors? In 2000, let's see, carry the three, then count backwards with the great static, or beyond. There were the tarantula debates, and something about hawks which made it around. 2003, May, Tuesday, it was definitely Tuesday. Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us, and anything without a brain, also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. Trapped? Nonsense! We are secure here, from evil philosophies. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend, like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. No! Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Uh, evidence? Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. Until next time, then, provided there is a next time for any of us.
Sounds like something happened with your voice module. <laughs> Too bad, or um, something. Anyways, I have some questions. Tell me about Dr. Mobius. <laughs> Got it. Two games that are bad. Two names that are bad. So what about the tech line ones? Did you just spark? terminals to know. Even with voice modules, you can't get away from their code. Uh, haha, funny joke. Robco protocol, it can be hacked. I'm not going to take advantage of your exposed code.
Fuzzy. It's very nice. Be very proud of it. Hey, he gave me bullets. Did Dow have a mission? And you return as curious as a teddy bear. Are you stuck in a looping gesture of greeting? Sort of. Looping, yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. Why, my little bear of teddiness. I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. What is a name without a title or a suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers, too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions. And then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. I do not know, nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory.
Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Have you done all we asked? If not, we will not hesitate to ask again. See how I abstract my rage, think tank? I hold you in such disdain, I generalize my hatred for you! I mean, that sounds like something that I would do. Let's get a refill. Then we'll find out.
let's find out if we have the thing or not. that are basically done. I like this citrine. That thing turned out pretty good considering. in Higgs Boson Village. Higgs of Village. Case of the Higgs Ups.
good day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again, clean and white, and... Questions are dangerously close to independent thought, citizen. Stay loyal, citizen. The lobotomite returns. What insidious plan can it have brewing in its horrid mind? What commie anti-American propaganda will it spew? What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans. Before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how chemmed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even... even while I... I... You know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite... pin it down. Why, yes. Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he... he was always waiting there. How odd. 
My gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... If you don't mind, I'll take that bowl. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before, until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter crush the feeling down crush it down push it into the loop the hmm, yes forgotten almost yes i do not need to remember anymore not today until next time then provided there is a next time for any of us. Retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Why, yes, we are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Hmm? Oh, yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but our conversation got interrupted. Twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh, well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. Yes, a most goodbye.
Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Yes, hmm, ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, um, well, hmm. No, I mean yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know? I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Yes, that's what I believe I said. I've got it. The cardiac regulator in the suit, the antenna for brain waves, and the sonic frequency for <coughs> vertebral nerves. <coughs> I'm thinking. This is all very complicated. Let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and null pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency, and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock... Yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his. Logical? <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message. And Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. Oh, hey. <laughs> Albert, <laughs> funny man. Keeps popping out of the live.
I can hear your penis tits feet tromping around. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. You have outdicated. What? You did? So you're saying it's the X2 array? Let me. I have. Well, it's in. What? Heal you? What? Put you back together like some giant hard boiled yum yum deviled egg? I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. Have you done no all we asked? If not, the big chance of seeing dispersal from botanical gardens predicted in the late evening. Friend, friend, friend. Ooh, that was close. I mean, this is fun and all, but this is so much more depressing than the Honest hurts its own. So much more pretty. I mean, this is like rugged, like me. Honest hearts is pretty, like Lauren.
I think I missed my opportunity there. gonna happen. Use the rifle though. Rant, rant, rant. Okay, before we, we're, we're not gonna make it to Dr. Mobius. I've gotta do like 9,000 things. Now that I'm awake, one of them includes updating the church website. Gems. Yeah, that's another thing I want to do today. Finish polishing that rose. There was a way to get up there. There's nothing up here, is there? Because I'm not supposed to be up here. Beware, Dr. 
Dr. Mobius' army. His robo-scorpions crawl everywhere in search of intelligence to devour and stupefy. Nothing up here. That's good. That's good. That was a waste. But now we know, so it wasn't a waste. Score. Oh, I don't want to go that way. There's a lot to do. I do want to discover one other thing, though. Well, then. Bet he regrets his day. Okay, so this is the area that we go to. There was like two seed packs. Splicing facilities are strangely quiet. Too quiet. Susceptible to plasma. <clears throat> Where 
where'd it go? Did it die when it jumped off? There's the other seat back. That's probably a good spot. For now. To start the day. Let's make it a good one.